You might be rather surprised to hear this, but did you know Riskgrass happens to be a rather good, if not unique, retro gaming platform? Hi, I'm Tom Williamson from the youtube.com forward slash Wi-Fi Sheep Tech and Retro Computing channel. In this video, we're going to look at a small selection of the many classic games and emulation systems that are available to run on Risk OS. You might be surprised at just how many software titles there are and how those only ever released for PC can still run under a modern Risk OS environment. So first, let's start with the current native gaming scene. That's retro and new game titles ported to run on modern Risk OS. Two recent titles exclusive to Risk OS have been Overlord and Mutant Penguin. Both titles are among a wide selection of others that have been created by Amcog Games, designed specifically for the RiscOS platform. Rejoining RiscOS are some true retro classics, such as the iconic BBC Micro title, Chucky Egg. A unique version of arcade classic Frogger, known as Hopper. Ported from the Acorn Archimedes, the truly outstanding Starfighter 3000. And how can we not mention the brilliant and rather underrated Riskress version of Lemmings, considered one of the better ports of the game. Another title that saw its definitive version release on the Acorn Archimedes was the updated 1991 version of the 8-bit BBC Micro Classic Elite. This version, utilising the full power of the then new ARM chipset and running even better today with the latest and considerably more powerful ARM processors. RiskOS users have also been enjoying the 1993 MS-DOS port of the classic shoot them up Doom. The RiskOS native version being noted for its fast performance and smooth frame rates. Now, in more recent times, RiskOS has benefited from a fully operational port of Scum VM, which allows computer systems to run software natively that it was not originally intended to run. In this example, I have the Windows DVD ROM version of the 3D immersive point and click adventure game, Myst. 
I can simply copy the disk content over to a new folder on my RISC-OS system, then set up the game within ScumVM. After adjusting a few settings, RISC-OS can run the Windows PC version of the game natively with full sound and video. ScumVM works with a number of major PC releases, allowing for an ever wider range of top entertainment software titles to run on your ARM-based RISC-OS computing system. Now let's take a look at the world of emulators. Emulator platforms have hugely increased in popularity in the past 10 years and have allowed modern computer hardware to run older apps, software and games. RISC-OS has benefited from a number of native ports of some of the best known emulators. So with full Kickstarter backing, RISC-OS will be able to run classic ZX Spectrum titles out of the box. In this example, I loaded a tap file version of Rainbow Island and in a matter of seconds was able to enjoy this fantastic game once more. We cannot talk about RiscOS without mentioning its origins at Acorn with the BBC Micro, and it'll be no surprise that classic 8-bit BBC Micro software and games can also be successfully emulated on RiscOS. With a simple drag and drop of an SSD disk image file, I can load up a game of pioneering 3D racing simulator Revs, which even in 2020 is still extraordinary on the 8-bit veteran system. It's not just 8-bit systems that you can emulate. DOSBox, the popular x86 IBM PC emulator, is also available on RISC-OS. Under DOSBox, you can enjoy retro DOS era software, such as this flight demo in Sierra's HeliSim, utilizing a full PC VGA color graphics mode. Of course, if you can run older PC titles, then you can also run vintage versions of Microsoft Windows. Here, RISC-OS using DOSBox is booting Windows 3.1, and it fully works. Which means we can play games designed to run in Windows, such as the PC port of early 90s Mac classic game, Glider. So you see what's possible, a RISC-OS platform capable of running thousands of titles with over 40 years of best video games and software to choose from. If you've been inspired by this demonstration, then why not try RISC-OS for yourself? 
You can purchase a Cloverleaf Risco S micro SD card for your Raspberry Pi from just 29 euros. The Risco S Cloverleaf project offers a real alternative to the standard Linux operating systems we've become accustomed to. If you want to see the project develop further, then you can join the Risco S Cloverleaf crowdfunding initiative hosted via the Kickstarter platform from as little as 19 euros. With backers receiving a Risco S Cloverleaf t-shirt along with other tier related perks. For full information or to register your interest, visit www.riscoscloverleaf.com.